Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, in today's video, I bring you with me while I compete in a bass tournament. We're into spring now, so our Thursday night, weeknight events have started back up. These tournaments are put on by Holly Tridell at CNC Outdoors. She does a phenomenal job of running these tournaments, and we just rotate boat ramps on Fort Loudon Reservoir every week. And so this week we were at George's Creek, and these tournaments, they run from 6 to 9 p.m., so you got three total hours to catch three bass, and that's any combination, largemouth, smallmouth, or spotted bass with a 12 inch minimum. So I went out there, we're launching in a creek, and I just started making my way to the back of it. And I took two rods with me in this tournament. They, with these tournaments only being three hours long total, not including your downtime that you're gonna have going spot to spot. I mean, really you got about two hours and change total to be making casts. I took two rods with me on baits that I know I could get bit on, which was a sumo spoon, which is one of my favorite baits to throw for skipjack and white bass. And also just, I catch a ton of bycatches, which are largemouth and smallmouth on them too. So I was throwing that and I also had a little a three inch or 2.75 inch TRD worm. And so for the first hour, I threw the spoon and then got on toward the back of this creek got on a, uh, got on some brush back there, threw that TRD worm, got bit almost immediately. So I threw that the final two hours and got several fish. Here's the action. Fish right there. Let's see what we got here. Is that a bass? It is. I think he's going to be short though. Got to be 12 inches out here tonight. I'm pretty confident this one here is going to be a smidge. Well, okay. We about lost him plumbing out of the kayak before I could even get him in. Let's try that again. Yeah, y'all, a little over nine inches. Not going to get it done. That one ate the spoon, though. Oh, I got a mess here now. Every time I talk to the camera, y'all, stuff starts going wrong for me. There we go. Now I'm back in business. That's encouraging to get a bite, though. Doing double duty out here tonight. I'm in this bass tournament, but I'm also in need of some skipjack, so I'm kind of starting out throwing this spoon where I got a chance at both. I catch a lot of bass both largemouth and smallmouth, only spoons when I'm out skipjack fishing. Typically, you know, I throw jigs and spoons for skipjacks, but most of the time when I get a bycatch of uh, either largemouth or smallmouth bass or even white bass, most of the time they hit the spoons versus the jigs, so that's why I'm throwing the spoon out here tonight. If I catch some bass, great. If I don't catch bass, but catch skipjack instead, that's pretty good too. So we'll see how it goes in that, but we're a few minutes into this tournament. I already got my first bite there, albeit a short fish, but anytime you get bit or out of way, it's encouraging. So I'm gonna keep making my way back here in this creek. The wind's kind of blowing me down it right now, so I'm just kind of using my pedals to keep myself off the bank and letting the wind push me down this creek and I'm just working the shoreline here on my way back through it. So anyway y'all, let's try to find us some bass and skippies. Fish. There he is. Oh. He wasn't very big anyway. But I pulled him plumb off there. Throw right back in there, see if he's got a buddy with him. Fish. There he is. Now we'll get in there. There we go. Fish number one that'll count. And that one will score for us. Got that one on a Ned rig. A little TRD worm on a Charlie Brewer slider head. come off some brush over here on this creek. Let's 
set that out of the way and get our measuring board out. He's not going to be very big, but he will definitely keep for us. Get us on the board anyway. All right, y'all, 12 and a half on the board. This fish is coming right toward me. There he is. There he is. Oh, you talk about getting lucky. Spit the hook and went right in the net. He was coming right at me. I couldn't catch up with him. That's another keeper right there. 12 inch minimum again for Knight's tournament. He's probably, well, we'll find out here in a second, probably 12, 13 inches. tail down there yep he'll go over 13 nice all right 13 and three quarter let's let him go and get back to it yes. i think that one there is going to be short Bass pro tonight, buddy. No. Nah. <laughs> never. I gotta get me a Jordan Marshall T-shirt. Oh, y'all, that one there, ten inches. I ain't gonna make it, but it's another bite. Oh, my line's swimming again right there. There he is. Ow. Another small. Another small one. That's another bite, though. Getting right here now around the, around dark. This tournament runs till 9, but it gets dark. 8.15-ish right now. Come on, fishy, let that hook go. There we go. So I'm just throwing this... This Ned Rig Worm here, that's what the most action I've gotten has come on, so I'm gonna stick with it. Got that on my Abu Garcia Veritas rod. This is a six foot nine medium light. I've got a Lose a Speed Spin size 20 on there, six pound test monofilament. And that's a one eighth ounce Charlie Brewer slider head and a, a little green TRD worm there. Z Man. So that's what I'm throwing here the rest of the evening. About another hour left. Hopefully, gonna finish out that limit. Be nice to finish it out with about a 20 incher, but you know, take what I can get at this point. <laughs> right here's a fish. There he is. Oh, Jordan, number three. Up, up, up. I can get him in the net. There he is. Oh, yeah, Jordan Marshall fishing up there. Got old mullet man there for you all who's watched my live streams before. He made an appearance not too long ago on there. Out in there's going to be the biggest of the night right there so far, y'all. That'll complete my limit line wrapped around him yeah y'all that and right there will go 15 inches the biggest of the night there he goes we'll just keep working our way along here Let's see what we can do we're gonna need some bigger fish than that but i'm happy to get a bite out here you know i'm not the world's greatest bass fisherman by any stretch but I do enjoy catching them on the lighter tackle. And even fish that size right there are quite a bit of fun on this medium light rod. It's a nice thing about the Ned Rig or slider rig, whatever you want to call it, it's kind of hard to screw up. If they fish there, you're probably going to catch them. And the nice thing about them slider jig heads versus a a normal 
uh, Ned head or Ned rig head is that you can Texas rig these uh, these plastics with the slider head so you don't get snagged all the time when you're throwing them this wood and down trees and stuff so anyway enough of me rambling on here let's get back to it keep making some casts and let me just see what time it is here it's uh 8 12 so got about 45 more minutes now i can fish let's see if we can get a few more upgrade our score all right guys it's 8 24 i'm making one more run here to the back of this little pocket in this creek here all of my bites have come kind of in this area here toward the back of it so i'm going to just use my last few minutes here to uh hit this area again as best i can try to upgrade my score there was something jumping right there i don't know what that was but uh anyway that's gonna be my plan i'm just gonna keep throwing this ned rig or slider rig whatever you want to call it i'm older so it was a slider rig back in my day everybody calls it ned rig now same difference small piece of plastic on a jig head uh, finesse presentation but it works i'm just casting it out letting it hit bottom letting it sit there a second and then just slowly working it along the bottom and uh, you know now been lights out out here tonight but it's got me a limit and hopefully if we can upgrade and get a decent fish here or, you know who knows what happens so anyway i'm getting back on in here gonna start casting and we'll run this video until the sunlight wears out which ain't gonna be much longer oh, my line's sweating again there he is you probably can't see a thing right now oh he spit it anyway didn't feel him hit at all just seen my line taking off he spit it he wouldn't have improved my score none get my worm back on there back here in the shallows though it has paid off tonight it's uh i don't know how deep i am i don't have my graph on this kayak i didn't switch it over this tournament don't allow motors so i'm in my hobie tonight and i didn't take the time to put my graph on because really bass fishing like this i don't even really need my graph i'm just beating the bank so what the hell am i going to look at on there but uh they've been back here back of this creek well guys i ended up catching some fish but nothing that was going to help me for tournament purposes or for bait purposes with skipjack or white bass there but my score of 41 and a quarter inches put me somewhere middle of the pack we had 14 people show up for this tournament and i think i ended up in like fifth or sixth place holly tridale the tournament director she actually pulled off the win had a huge score like 49 and three quarter inches i believe so congrats to her i couldn't be happier for her if anybody's gonna beat me i would just assume it'd be her as anybody but but uh, anyway, guys, it was a fun tournament. I'm going to try to film some more of these. You know, if I'm catching enough fish out there to produce a video, I plan on doing it. But sometimes, like last week's tournament, for instance, got five fish, but they were all within like the last 20 to 30 minutes of the tournament and didn't have enough light to get decent footage on the video. But nevertheless, as we get on into summer here, we're going to have more and more daylight there and so you know once we get into like june and july it'll be like the whole tournament out there but uh anyway great time you can check them out on facebook thursday night etka got the full tournament schedule on there and again it just rotates boat ramps out here on fort loudon reservoir in the knoxville lenore city maryville tennessee areas so uh anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you again soon thanks for watching